Let's talk about poly. Remember that black sample you had? It was fuzzy. That's the one that looked like cotton. What makes a fuzzy poly? Have you heard of spun polyester? That's a spun polyester. Spun poly, they take lengths of polyester thread. Heather, will you hand these out, please? They take lengths of polyester thread, or maybe it's the leftover scraps. Maybe it's the misdyed that goes in the, the reject bin. They take all the, the thread, and they will cut it into pieces, and they spin it back together. Is that crazy? Isn't that what you do to your fabrics? You take a perfectly good piece of fabric, you cut, 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 just to sew it back together. The reason why spun poly exists is because it is very inexpensive. A lot of it really is from the reject bin. The thread that is now being handed out, did it make it all the way around? This is a polyester thread. There's three types of polyester threads. That first one, that black one that we compared the black to the white, that is a spun poly. It does have fuzz on it because it was probably over dyed. It was probably from a reject bin. It's a cheap one, although pretty durable still. We know poly is a durable thread. Most polyester is called filament polyester. When I, heard the word, when I hear the word filament, I think of monofilament. That's fishing line. Monofilament is not filament poly. Filament means continuous strand of thread, not spun together. And by far the majority of polyester thread is filament thread. That means they have this big pot of honey. And they're going to pour this honey through a nozzle. Think of a shower head that has 100 microscopic holes coming through it. As it comes through the shower head, it's like long strands of spaghetti. And these spaghetti-like strands of polyester are miles and miles and miles long. They, there's no end to it. That's what they turn into thread. That's why there's no lint on it. It's a continuous strand, non-spun together. The one that we're handing out now, there's two of them. There's a green one and there's a purple one. They're both filament polyester. Filament poly is stronger than spun poly. If you have the green one, see how fine that one is? That one is a, is a number 50 slash 3. What does that 3 mean? 3 ply. That green strand of thread in your hand is made up of 3 plies. Imagine how fine those 3 plies must be. In the polyester world, it's really a little more difficult to have a super high quality and a super low quality range because the range of, of polyester quality is more narrow. Unlike metallic, where we had the Rolls Royce down to the Yugo, cotton we had the extra long staple, long staple and the short staple. Polyester we have about a, a kind of a narrow range of a high to low. And there really is no way to tell if it's high quality or low quality by the label. You have to use it. This green one in your hand is a three ply, three strand. Each of those three strands are made up of micro strands. Many, many, many. In fact, the green one in your hand, each of those three strands, 48, 48, 48 micro strands. You're holding 144 micro strands of thread in that thin, fine strand of, of that's the so fine thread. That's what makes an excellent quality polyester. If you would ask any brand how many micro strands, they're just totally lost. It's not going to be on the label. You have to use it to really know. But that's what makes an excellent quality polyester thread. The purple one is a high sheen polyester. Some polyesters are called trilobal polyester. Trilobal is tri, three, T-R-I. Lobal is sides, L-O-B-A-L, trilobal poly. Remember that shower head that the spaghetti-like strands come through? They realize if they turn the shower head holes, not round, but if they turn them to a triangular shape, now the thread comes out three-sided. Think uh, Toblerone candy bar, we connect with chocolate. <laughs> it comes out triangular shape, and because the sides are flat, it reflects light, and it gives a beautiful high sheen. It is not a flat-sided thread, though, because by the time they take the small micro strands and twist the strands together, it's a round thread. It's a lovely thread. We give up some strength, but we gain the sheen. If you like shiny thread, trilobal poly is fantastic. The reason is trilobal is fantastic because it is color fast. Do any of you also embroider? What's the embroider's favorite thread? Rayon. Why? 
beautiful sheen and very low price. The downside of rayon, which most people really don't know, is it is not color fast. Rayon is weak, we know that, but rayon is not a color fast thread in most cases. Now you have a high sheen equivalent to the rayon sheen in polyester that is color fast, the trilobal poly. The downside, double the cost. If you like the sheen and if you want color fast, spend the money and get a trilobal polyester thread. Nothing could be worse than doing a beautifully embroidered design with a rayon thread. Give it to a friend. The friend doesn't know it's color fast, throws it in the wash with a bleach based brightener. It bleeds, it fades, it ruins the design and they can't enjoy it anymore. That's why we really don't use or recommend any rayon threads. Trilobal poly is the high sheen. Regular filament poly is the medium sheen or matte finish. And then you have the spun poly. That's the cotton lookalike thread. Those are the three polys. I just got back from the quilt shop. Now I gotta hide my stash. Cause you don't want hubby to find this. It's worth